Good afternoon. Welcome to the University of Toronto Mississauga's Class of 2021 graduation event. I'm Dania Champini, and I have the privilege of serving as the president of the University of Toronto Mississauga's Alumni Association and as your MC for today's event. I would like to open the ceremony by recognizing the unique and enduring relationship that exists between Indigenous people and their traditional territories and our privilege in sharing in it. I wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. First and foremost, congratulations to the Class of 2021 on your convocation. We're so pleased to celebrate your accomplishments. Normally, at this time of year, we would be gathering at an in-person graduation reception on campus for you, our newest alumni, along with your families and friends. And while we can't celebrate with you in person, we want you to know how very proud we are of all of you and that we are still here for you. Today, we have graduates, families, friends, faculty, staff, and alumni watching from around the world. Welcome, everyone. Throughout the event, I encourage all of you to share messages of congratulations to the graduating class in the live chat. We'd also love to hear where you are watching from, so feel free to enter your city or your country into the chat. Today, we'll be hearing from UTM's Vice President and Principal, Professor Alexandra Gillespie. We'll also hear from Professor Rhonda McEwen, who will recognize our many award winners. There will be a valedictory address from UTM's 2021 valedictorian, Adwit Sharma. And finally, a special address from UTM's alumnus and international Emmy Award winner, Richie Mehta. I'd now like to invite Professor Alexander Gillespie, Vice Pre President and Principal, to share a special message for our graduates. Thank you, Dania. Congratulations, graduates. As you receive your degrees from Canada's top university, I wanted to express my most wholehearted joy. Joy for the success that you've already achieved, joy for the futures you're going to help to create, and joy for the chance to celebrate at your graduation. We have many accomplishments to celebrate. Students in UTM's graduating class have written persuasive essays, have made meaningful art, they've conducted impactful experiments. You have advanced major projects, discovered solutions to complex problems, and sparked ideas in entrepreneurial innovation. You've founded intramural societies, volunteered in community organizations, and led movements for constructive social change. In doing all of this, you've exemplified the determination, creativity, and intelligence that we always want to define UTM as a whole. And for that, you deserve the university's collective appreciation. Of course, this class has earned special credit for completing their degrees in the midst of a pandemic, approaching this challenge with resilience, compassion, and flexibility. Though I wish I could see you in person today, I really do, I trust that the depth of my gratitude is still going to resonate online. Thank you. Your dedication in this time of adversity represents a model to which we should all aspire. And I really hope that you're as proud of yourself as I am of you. Thank you also for making UTM your academic home. While you've been here, you've thought carefully and critically, fostered community and creativity, and continued our culture of lifelong learning. So please stay in touch in the coming years as alumni. I look forward to celebrating together, even after your graduation. Thank you, Professor Gillespie. Next, I'd like to introduce Professor Rhonda McEwen, Director of UTM's Institute of Communication, Culture, Information and Technology, and Special Advisor on Anti-Racism and Equity. And as of July 1st, 2021, Vice Principal, Academic and Dean of the University of Toronto, Mississauga, to recognize graduating student leadership award recipients. Thank you, Dania. First, can I just say how incredibly proud I am of our graduates? You blow me away. Congratulations to all of you. It has been a challenging time these last 16 months 
but you've persevered and you have succeeded and are now graduates of the University of Toronto, Canada's leading institution of learning, discovery and knowledge creation and one of the world's top research intensive universities driven to invent and innovate. I also want to acknowledge the families of our graduates. We might be online, but I can feel how proud you are through the screens. I know that seeing your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, and even your parents graduate is a significant milestone. So many of our graduates received distinguished awards this year for their outstanding student leadership and academic excellence. And it is now my pleasure to acknowledge these outstanding students. As the valedictorian of my undergraduate class, I now welcome Adwet Sharma to the family. Selected as valedictorian for UTM's class of 2021. This is a wonderful acknowledgement of his volunteer leadership and involvement both on and off campus and as well as the impact of his contributions on the student body and in the community. There's more to say about Adwet, but consider this the trailer and we will save his full feature, aka the introduction before his valedictory address later in the program. I would also like to recognize Fatima Alzara Alsaidi, who just graduated with Honors Bachelor of Arts with double majors in Criminology, Law and Society and Sociology. Drum roll, please. Fatima is the recipient of the 2021 Governor General's Silver Medal. The Governor General's Civil Medal was first awarded in 1873 by the Earl of Dufferin and is one of the most prestigious that a student at a Canadian educational institution can receive. There are three Silver Medals awards at the University of Toronto across all three campuses for the undergraduate students who achieve the highest academic standing upon graduation from a bachelor degree program. But that's not all. Fatima is also recipient of the John Black Aird Scholarship. The Aird Scholarship was established in 1996 in memory of the Honorable John Black Aird, former Chancellor of the University of Toronto and Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. This scholarship is awarded to U of T's top undergraduate student across the university's three campuses. Fatima achieved a flawless 4.0 GPA, maintaining that perfect average throughout her time at UTM. She's been an exceptional student and researcher. Her promise and abilities have been recognized with the prestigious University of Toronto Excellence Award and a MyTax Research Training Award along with the support of multiple small faculty awards from UTM's Department of Sociology and the UTM Peel Social Lab. Fatima has decided to take a gap year before pursuing graduate school and law school. She will spend the next year co-authoring numerous articles on Syrian refugee resettlement and the Agenda 21 conspiracy theory with her research supervisors Dr. Neda Magbule and Dr. Hel Ellen Berry. She will start applying to law school and a few MA and PhD programs in the fall and hopes to continue her education here at U of T. Congratulations, Fatima, on your remarkable achievements. I think I want to be like Fatima when I grow up. Next, we have the University of Toronto Student Leadership Awards, which continue U of T's long-standing tradition of recognizing outstanding student leadership, service, and commitment to the university. This tradition began with the Gordon Cressy Student Leadership Award, which was established in 1994 by the University of Toronto Alumni Association and the Division of University Advancement. During the award's 25-year history, it celebrated the exemplary contributions of more than 4,000 students whose commitment and service has, last, has a lasting impact on their peers and the university. 
The University of Toronto Student Leadership Award continues the Cressy Award legacy, and recipients join the di distinguished community of past Cressy Award recipients in being honored for the exemplary leadership and service to U of T. This year, 18, yes, you heard that right, 18 outstanding graduating students from the University of Toronto Mississauga received this award. My heart is full. You superstars, we are so proud of you. I would also like to acknowledge our Principal's Award of Excellence in Student Leadership winners. The Principal's Award of Excellence recognizes students who have demonstrated an outstanding level of leadership in at least three of the following UTM values over the course of their university careers. Collaboration, leadership development, equity and inclusion, innovation, advancing justice for Indigenous communities, wellness, sustainability, and global and intercultural engagement. This year, nine graduating students have received this award. Their achievements have benefited their peers as well as contributed to the betterment of the university community. Congratulations to all of our recipients of this award. You improve this world by your very presence. We also have a graduating student who is a recipient of the UTM Student Leadership Award in Sustainability. And this award recognizes an outstanding student who has demonstrated commitment to their sustainability through their campus involvement, as well as for leading initiatives that make positive contributions to climate change and or sustainability that impact both UTM and our planet. Congratulations, Lauren, on this wonderful achievement. I have a feeling that you need to spend some more time getting to know these graduates so we have uploaded the award recipient profiles on UTM Student Leadership Awards page. You should see a link to this page in the chat now. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to acknowledge the 394 students who have graduated with distinction and the 424 who have graduated with high distinction. You should all be very proud of your accomplishments. Congratulations once again to our award recipients and to the entire class of 2021. You did it. Watch out world, here they come. Thank you, Professor McEwen. Congratulations to all of the award recipients on their achievements. Class of 2021, your time as an undergraduate student may have come to an end, but the university remains a valuable resource to support you as you look to the future. Now that you are an alumni, a door is opened up to a wealth of resources, not only at UTM, but across the university and all over the world through a vast systems of alumni networks. You are now part of a community of over 60,000 UTM alumni and more than 600,000 U of T alumni around the world. As a member of this prestigious community, I encourage you to take advantage of all the benefits it has to offer. Opportunities to engage include social, professional development, and career-related events, as well as academic offerings. Whether you're pursuing graduate studies or finding employment to start a career as a recent graduate, you have access to all of the resources at the UTM Career Center over the next two years. The Career Center has a team of career professionals ready to help with all the aspects of finding a job or incorporating further education into your plan. U of T School of Continuing Studies offers graduates a $550 credit towards any one course. U of T Libraries and Athletics offer alumni memberships across all three campuses. You can also sign up for four free months of LinkedIn Learning Access featuring courses in business, technology, design, and creativity. If you haven't already created a LinkedIn profile, please remember to add the University of Toronto Mississauga as your school. This will help us keep in touch no matter where you are in the world. I also encourage you to like the University of Toronto Mississauga's page on LinkedIn. It's a great source of UTM and U of T wide news as well as information on upcoming events.
I realize this is a lot of information, so post-event, we will email everyone with the links where you can find a wealth of other alumni benefits and online resources, as there's just too many to mention during this event. I took advantage as a new graduate of what UTM and UFT had to offer, and I continue to remain involved. Now, many years later, I'm giving back with my time as a mentor and as president of the UTM Alumni Association. I hope that you too will remain involved and one day volunteer to connect with and support the next generation of U of T students. Now, it's my honor to introduce Adwit Sharma, UTM's 2021 Class Valedictorian. Adwit has just graduated with an Honors Bachelor of Arts where he earned a specialist in international affairs and a major in economics. During his time at UTM, Adwit developed skills in international relations, economics, and governance. As an intercultural team leader at the International Education Center at U of T, Adwit sought to foster inclusivity on campus. And because of his exemplary leadership, service, and commitment to U of T, this year he received a University of Toronto Student Leadership Award. With his undergraduate studies behind him, Adwit hopes to have a career in diplomacy and is currently a research analyst with the NATO Association of Canada, focusing on foreign policy and defense. And given his passion for governance, he's a policy advisor with the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, Queen's Park. Adwit is also with the Honourable Company of Freeman London, which seeks to promote British interests in Canada. And now I'd like to invite Adwit to give his valedictory address as UTM's 2021 class valedictorian. Hello, the UTM's class of 2021. This day is finally here and we've done it. All of our efforts, those of our friends and families have come to fruition today. Despite the pandemic, the lockdowns and the Zoom fatigue, we have all persevered in the uncharted territory that was this academic year. We have overcome hardships that few have and will endure. And I hope we all realize the true scale of our achievements. My sincerest congratulations on our graduation. This would not have been possible without our academics, our esteemed faculty, instructors and teaching assistants, as well as all our U of T staff. They have all adapted this year to ensure the smooth continuation of our studies, and we are most grateful. When I came to Canada for the first time four years ago, I did not know, like most of us, what to expect from university. I came from humble origins, meaning that I did not have privileges afforded to others, and my family had gone to great lengths to ensure that I could pursue my studies. And this burden sat heavy on my shoulders. I found myself being constantly stretched in between my academic responsibilities and financial considerations. But I sought to turn this trial into triumph. I sought to become part of this course around me, conversations of what interested me. I became aware of issues faced by our student body and hence I ran for and served on the University of Toronto's Governing Council. I wanted to understand the functioning of government here in this country, so I worked in provincial and federal elections, which ultimately resulted in my work in Parliament today. Most importantly, my passion for international relations led me to my work with the NATO Association of Canada. This has truly been, and continues to be, one of the most enriching experiences I've had. Given my aspirations for diplomacy, I have the wonderful opportunity to work closely with High Commissioners and Ambassadors to Canada, and this has only strengthened my enthusiasm for diplomacy and the importance of the rules-based international order we have today. I tell you this not as a list of my achievements, but because I believe somewhere along this path, I learned to smile in the face of adversity and tackle problems head on. I learned that the obstacle is indeed the way, and I hope you may find it within you to do the same. For how we deal with our struggles truly defines us. And I am thankful to our university for fostering a sense of community which empowers us to be our best. For whenever I asked for help, whether it was simple directions to IB in first year or help from our professors, I was never turned away. We live in an ever-changing world, and this year in particular has been a testament to that. Hence, I implore you all to be a part of civil institutions. Don't let society rush you by. 
get involved, for it is our future. And speaking of society, at times it can appear to have a plethora of views. But that is the beauty of our democratic system, one which was forged from the lessons of the world wars. I hope we can work to heal these divisions by not shying away from difficult conversations, but by entertaining the views of the other side and being kind in our criticisms therein. Our class of 2021 has wonderfully embodied strength, success and commitment. As we become alumni, we are graduating in a time of uncertainty, but if the past year has shown us anything, we have it in us to achieve our goals. With kindness and compassion, let us look to what I'm sure is a bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Adwit. What a wonderful message to share with your fellow graduates. Finally, it is my great pleasure to welcome our alumni keynote speaker, Richie Mehta, international film director and writer. Richie earned his honors Bachelor of Arts from the University of Toronto Mississauga in 2001. His first feature film, Amal, was released in 2008 and was nominated for Best Motion Picture and Best Director at the 29th Eugenie Awards. In 2013, he released two films he wrote and directed, Siddharth, which premiered at the Venice Film Festival before receiving over 25 international awards, and I'll Follow You Down, a science fiction film starring Gillian Anderson and Rufus Sewell. In October 2015, Richie teamed up with Ridley Scott and Google as the director of the documentary India in a Day, which premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. And in 2020, Richie won the International Emmy Award for Best Drama Series and his Netflix series entitled Delhi Crime, which he wrote and directed. Welcome, Richie. Congratulations to all of you, graduating class of 2021. It's obviously been tough for all of you, but let's focus on where you are now and the world you're entering. There are a lot of problems, a lot to be solved, a lot of work to do. I heard recently something very wise. Find where your special skills meet the world's urgent needs and work to solve them. This is what I inadvertently did. I wanted to make films after graduating, but I didn't know what about. And in the last 10 years, the world's urgent needs have presented themselves so clearly, and a select few have literally collided with me in my journey, and now I find joy and purpose in doing the work I'm doing. I don't look to others for gratification, I just follow my instinct, which was honed at UTM. I began by making science fiction films about my own very myopic worldview, and now I make films about human rights violations, about law and order and justice, about wildlife crime, about the nature of families, about where we're going in the world. And I never ever would have predicted ending up in this space. But as I experienced more of the world, I felt compelled to jump into these issues around me. But now, as you all know, these issues have multiplied in magnitude and quantity globally. You don't need me to tell you what they are. You're hearing about them daily and feeling them, and it's even affecting the nature of how I'm dealing with you now. And I'm sure this fills you all with great uncertainty. But please know this, you may think that entering the professional world in times of uncertainty is a bad thing, but understand, nobody, no matter how many degrees they have, knows where this is going. They have some ideas, some premonitions and predictions, but there is no roadmap. You are the ones who will help find that map. So all I can say to you is find where your special skills meet the world's urgent needs and work to solve them. And in doing that, I believe you'll find your place. I certainly found mine. And as a parting note, remember that the alumni community will be here to support you and grow stronger every year. Good luck and congratulations. Thank you, Richie, and please accept my gratitude on behalf of the graduating class for your message. Congratulations once again to the class of 2021. We're proud to recognize your hard work and accomplishments, and we wish you all the best on your journey ahead. And let me offer a sincere thank you to our audience for your support of the graduating class on this milestone achievement. We have just one final piece for today's event. Since our class of 2021 could not celebrate with each other in person, 
several of them have a special message to share with their peers. Please enjoy this closing video. Thank you. Congratulations. We just want to say a huge thanks to all of our professors, staff, faculty, and the friends that we've made both virtually and in person for making UTM so special. We're going to miss all the late night conversations and study sessions. You're the leaders of tomorrow, class of 2021. You're blazing the trail and we wish you all the best for your boundless future. We made it. We made it. Congratulations, class of 2021. I am so proud of everyone and their accomplishments and special shout out to my friends for making the last four years iconic. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hello, class of 2021 and congratulations on graduating. This is a huge milestone we've been able to accomplish in the midst of a pandemic. I hope you're all really proud of yourself, get some time to rest and enjoy this huge success. And I wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2021. We should be so proud of our accomplishments. A special shout out to my family at UTM Residence for truly making UTM feel like home for the past four years. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Um, what I'll miss most about UTM is definitely the people and the very, very cute deers on campus. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. I'll miss all the fun events on campus. The blood on your future endeavors. Hello class of 2021, congratulations on achieving such a big milestone. I would like to say thank you to my DEM friends and family and I'm so proud of us and I'm wishing you all the best. Congratulations class of 2021 on this huge milestone. Your dedication, hard work and sacrifices have all paid off. You've all accomplished so much during your time at UTM and I wish you the best in all of your future endeavors. Hi everyone, greetings from Mississauga. Can you believe it? We actually made it through this year. I'm really going to miss the psychology department the most, but good luck everybody and congratulations class of 2021. Congratulations class of 2021 for making it this far. I want to wish everyone the best of luck in their future endeavors. I know for sure I'm going to miss all the morning lectures in the year. Good luck everyone. Congrats class of 2021. We should all be so proud of what we accomplished this year. I'm really going to miss working with my students union, but I'm so excited to come back to campus this fall as a master's student. Congratulations class of 2021. Despite the hurdles, we overcame many difficulties these last two years. We should all be so proud of ourselves. Cheers and good luck on all of your future endeavors. Congratulations class of 2021. We're finally at the finish line and we've grown and learned so much during our time here. I'm so excited to see all that we accomplished moving forward. Congratulations class of 2021. Being part of UTM was such a transformative experience and thank you to everyone who helped me along the way. A special shout out to the Center for Student Engagement. Congratulations class of 2021. A huge thank you goes out to all the faculty and staff at the Department of Management at UTM. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Class of 2021, congratulations. No matter what we do after graduation, never forget that UFT is the one place we all have in common. The UFT is home.